Yeah, that's right. Of course, we now know the human toll this fire has taken. Again, three people confirmed dead. We are now also seeing just how many people across the state are feeling the impact of the fires that are still burning tonight, including some people right here in Middle Tennessee. Thank you for calling Pure Acclaim. This is Stacy. Can I help you? Inside this Nashville business, sitting hundreds of miles from Gatlinburg. I really don't know. It was so well decorated. Jesse Eppling would much rather scroll through these happy images go, go, go. than scroll through the images we've seen today. I think it's crazy. This is on the spur in Gatlinburg. There was one video I watched of a guy coming down the mountain in his car. My heart goes out to him. Jesse and her co workers have traveled countless times to the amazing Grace Lodge in Gatlinburg, owned by their boss. It's always been sort of an open policy that if the cabin's open, if the cabin's not booked, you guys can take the day off, you can go up there. But when the staff all saw those images from East Tennessee last night, they prepared for bad news. I mean, it's burned to the ground. There's absolutely no part of it that's left. No one was inside the lodge when it burned down. So Jesse and her co-workers know things could have been much worse. But all they'll be able to salvage now are the memories, despite an entire staff that specializes in repairing property damage. That's kind of the double irony is that it's embedded in us every day. We Thanksgiving is a few days past. But amid all that's been lost since then, the, mortgage company the staff here is thankful Thank you. for what remains. We've all been very close. We are a family, and it's just a tragedy. Now, we spoke with the owner of that lodge today who says she's been fielding hundreds of phone calls today from people wanting to make sure she's okay as these fires continue. Now, back to you.